Hey guys, Microsoft has released the Windows 1125H2 update, also known as the 2025 October feature update. If you haven't got it yet, check the update section of your Windows 11 PC. Make sure that you have enabled this, get the latest updates as soon as they're available option. I have already installed the update, as you can see in the About section. In this video, you will know what's new in Windows 1125H2 update, working of the new features and if they are useful or not. So let's get started. Windows 1125H2 may not look much different, but it actually brings several updates under the hood. Some are AI related, some are interface changes, and others are performance or quality improvements. Let's start with the AI features, because that's the main focus this year. Windows Copilot is now more deeply integrated into Windows. It's no longer just a floating sidebar. It can actually interact with system settings, apps, and even perform quick actions like turning on Bluetooth, changing themes, or summarizing content. You can share your screen with the Copilot, and it will assist in many things like finding settings, troubleshooting, personalization, multitasking tips, and smarter contextual help. It can understand your workflow and offer tailored advice based on your current layout. If your PC has a dedicated AI chip, it can do even more like live captions and Windows Studio effects on your webcam. Next up, the Start menu gets a noticeable refresh. The All Apps List and Pinned Apps section are now combined into a single scrollable page you can easily switch between Grid, List, or Category Views. Now you don't have to click on All to view installed apps. If you don't like to see the recommended section here on the Start menu, Microsoft has also added a new toggle that lets you hide the recommended section. It's cleaner, simpler, and finally gives more control over what you see. The taskbar also gets a small but welcome update. You can see the icons are now smaller and battery icon gets a new update. It now shows the battery percentage next to the icon. Also, battery icon now shows different colors based on battery level. For example, green while charging, orange with energy saver, and red when the battery is low. Some of you might not see the battery percentage option in the settings. This feature is new and still being rolled out. You might see it in the coming days. These changes might seem small, but they improve everyday usability and make windows look a bit more polished. Now in 25H2 update, you get the option to format text in the notepad. You can choose headings, titles, get option to add bullet list and numbered list. You can apply bold and italic formatting, add links, and remove all the formatting option. The formatted text won't be saved as TXT file. It needs to saved as markdown file, MD. For those using the latest Wi-Fi routers, Windows 1125H2 adds support for Wi-Fi 7. That means better speeds and lower latency if your hardware supports it. For business users, IT admins can now remove pre-installed Microsoft Store apps through group policy, helping keep systems clean and lightweight. So yes, Microsoft is finally listening to feedback about bloatware control. Accessibility features also get a boost. Voice access now supports more languages. Dictation and speech commands work more naturally. There are also visual changes to make contrast and text clarity better across light and dark modes. Behind the scenes, Microsoft improved context menu performance, cloud file syncing, and general stability. So even if you don't notice visual changes, the system should feel smoother overall. So that's a quick look at the new features in Windows 1125H2, from the new start menu and taskbar tweaks to AI-powered features like Copilot and Studio Effects. The rollout is gradual, so if you don't see the update yet, it'll arrive automatically in the coming weeks. Let me know in the comments, which feature do you like the most? Personally, I like the new Start menu, and the option to hide the recommended section in Start menu is a great addition. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more Windows 11 updates and tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.